Well, you've directed a Spider-Man film. How does that feel? <laughs> it feels great. It's, it, is, uh, it is a little surreal, you know, being here, seeing all these posters of this movie that we've made and then seeing my name <laughs> next to the director. Uh, were you a fan of the franchise before the film or kind of did you have to accustom yourself to it a little, a little bit? Oh, no, I was definitely a fan. I mean, I, I went to film school in New York and... When I was a sophomore, they were filming the very first Sam Raimi Spider-Man movie, like outside of the window of my dorm. Okay. So that was like, you know, to now be on the other side of that is is pretty amazing. So yeah. The other side of the screen, it's almost <laughs> foresaw itself. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Um, I mean, and I'd always been a fan of Spider-Man. I think it's hard. I think like all kids, in a way, are like like Spider-Man when you're little, like. There's something about him where you're like, oh, he's a kid like me, and uh, you can. There's just something so relatable to him. It's something about his, his big eyes. That you know. Well, this film is very much. It's a superhero film, but yeah. it's also very much a coming of age film as yeah. well. And that's maybe something that the other Spider-Man films haven't kind of picked on as much as this film does. Yeah. Uh, were you maybe a little bit nervous about whether the fans of the previous Spider-Man films were maybe ready for such a coming of age film? I mean, I I just approach it trying to be the biggest fan myself, and uh, I always thought that that was such a rich premise, the idea of being a 15-year-old kid with these insane superpowers and not being able to tell anyone, that I always thought you could do so much with that, that you didn't have to just sort of race through that in the first act of a movie, like you could, you could, you could take your time to really explore that, and that's what we're, that's what we're doing in this film. And Tom Holland is that 15-year-old kid uh, yeah. in Spider-Man. Yeah, he's great. I mean, he um, he really just brings this level of enthusiasm to the role that I think is infectious. You know, it would be very cool to be 15 and be able to do the things that Spider-Man can do. And uh, he really he really captures that. Yeah, so you think he's up for the job. Yeah, think <laughs> I think he, he's up he for the well. job, yeah. yeah. And he can, like, do a backflip. I mean, he is Spider-Man. Yeah, well, we first saw <laughs> Tom Holland last year yeah. in Captain America, and that was so positively received, his appearance in the yeah. film as well. Did that make you, how did that make you feel when kind of people had seen the first glimpse of your Spider-Man? Yeah, well, I was there when they were shooting that, and just sort of peering out from behind the camera and seeing that scene come to life, I just thought, oh yeah, this is going to... This is going to work. <laughs> Without spoiling too much about the film, it kind of revisits that moment <laughs> yeah. from another perspective a little bit. Yeah, exactly. And that, you know, that is my whole attitude towards this film. I mean, that was the reason for creating Spider-Man in the first place in the 60s was to give another perspective on this world of superheroes to show what it's like if you're a regular guy at the ground level of this universe. That's what Peter Parker is and this film gets to show a side of this crazy superhero universe that we've never seen before. Amazing. And then I don't want to give away too much, but there's a new super villain in yes. this film which we haven't seen in a film before. Yeah. At least not a Spider Man film either. Yeah. So I guess you had quite a lot of creative license as to how you took him from the comic book to the film. Uh yeah, but you you know the the goal is always to just try to be tr true to the spirit of the original books, and the Vulture's the first supervillain that Spider-Man fights in the comics, and uh, he's a guy who's been screwed over by his business partner, you know, who's trying to get revenge, and 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 that that became the jumping-off point for me was to if Spider-Man is the ground-level superhero, you know, to try and build a ground-level supervillain. Well, John, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.